Okay, now many of you are going to be shocked that you're going to get this simple math problem wrong even if you use a calculator. Now, some of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, if I had a calculator, there would be like a 100% chance that I would get this right. Well, uh, don't be so sure about that, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that is to try the problem, which is the following. Okay, so we have 12 divided by 8 divided by 2 times 4. Now, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 3, B is 8, C is 12, and D is 3 sixteenths. Now, I'm going to encourage you to uh, try to do this without a calculator, but uh, if you want to double check your work or just use a calculator, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have a fraction, 12 divided by 8, divided by 2 times 4. So let's take a look at the correct answer. So the correct answer here is not 3. Now, some of you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I plugged that into my calculator, and my calculator told me 3. Well, that is wrong. The actual right answer is D, which is 3 sixteenths. So just because you have a calculator doesn't mean that you're always going to uh, get the right result if you plug in a bunch of numbers into your calculator. You've got to understand the basic math principles that are going on here. But uh, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're very sad because you got this wrong, even with a calculator, well, don't despair. Uh, what you did is a very, very common error. So let's see how to solve this problem right now. So before I show you the correct way to do this problem, let's take a look at some common errors. So of course we know that A is wrong, but a lot of you got three in your calculator. But uh, I'm gonna explain this more in just one second. Now we know the right answer is 3 16 and I'll show you why again in just one second, but let's take a look at some other very common wrong answers. So eight and 12, indeed would be uh, likely a lot of people's answers that did this wrong. So some people would say, well, I got a 12 here and a four here. Maybe I could take this four and divide it into that 12 three times, and then I got an eight here and a two there, so eight divided by two is four. So maybe in some way this is three times four or 12, but that is wrong. But uh, then again, you can look at this problem this way. Well, I got 12 and two, so if I divide this, that's six, and then eight and four, that's two. So maybe again, this is six times two or 12, or maybe I add these together, uh, which would give me uh, eight, or I divide these and I would get back to three. So a lot of ways to get wrong answers, all right? But uh, again, there's only one correct answer. And let's go ahead and talk about why three is wrong if you used your calculator. Okay, so here is what's going on. So we have this problem and we have our lovely calculator and we gotta type these numbers and operations into our calculator. So we have 12 divided by eight. Now a fraction symbol is a division symbol. So we have 12 divided by eight divided by two times four. So a lot of people did this. They're like, all right, it's 12 divided by eight in uh, their calculators, right? So you're just plugging these buttons or tapping these buttons on your calculator, 12 divided by eight divided by two times four. And of course you hit enter and you see a three and you're very excited. You're like, yay, I did this right. Well, that is wrong. And I'm gonna explain this as we get into the video. All right, so this is incorrect. You typed in the numbers, but you're missing a very critical notation here. All right, so don't feel too bad. You had the right numbers plugged in, but you're missing something. Of course, I'll explain that in just one second. But uh, what is the correct way to get the right answer on your calculator, by the way? So 3 sixteenths, okay, is equal to the decimal 0.1875. 
So 12 divided by 8 divided by 2 times 4 is equal to the decimal 0.1875. And of course, that is equal to the fraction 3 16 So this is the correct result. So why is that? Well, let's go back to our lovely uh, uh, buttons here. So we have 12 divided by 8 divided by 2 times 4. So when you have a fraction problem, and I'm going to explain this more thoroughly in just one second, the fraction bar basically separates the numerator from the denominator. Effectively, these are two separate problems. Uh, so this is like group one and this is group two. So you have to group these numbers together and you have to be very explicit about that on your calculator by using parentheses. So to properly type this in, you have to go parentheses 12 divided by eight parentheses divided by parentheses two times four parentheses. And of course, when you do that, you will get this result right here. All right, so we're gonna talk more about that because uh, the goal here is to be able to do this simple math problem without using a calculator. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about something very critical here, and that is the order of operations. So the correct order of operations in math is known by something called PEMDAS. So these letters stand for something. I'm gonna explain this in just one second, but I'm gonna give you a quick pop quiz because I know a lot of you are like, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I already know this stuff, this is easy. We'll take my pop quiz here. So we have 10 divided by two times five. So without using a calculator, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. All right, so what is the correct answer? Well, it's either gonna be one or 25. So for those of you that got one, well, that is fantastic because that is wrong. And I'm saying fantastic because I'm glad that you found my video because I'm going to explain a very, very common misunderstanding about the order of operations. The actual right answer is 25. So to get one, you said, well, let me see here. I got two times five, that's 10. So 10 divided by 10 is equal to one. Well, that's wrong, okay? But why is that wrong? Well, of course, I'm gonna explain that by explaining the proper order of operations. So what you need to do is start here with division. So 10 divided by two is five, five times five is 25. Okay, so hopefully you're still with me and let me go ahead and quickly explain the correct order of operations. Okay, so this PEMDAS, it's a little phrase here. Matter of fact, there's a little saying that goes along with this. It's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. Okay, so let's start here. We're gonna uh, basically go from left to right. So the P stands for grouping symbols and grouping symbols are parentheses or brackets like this or squiggly brackets or even a fraction bar, okay? So when we have a fraction bar, we have a big numerator and a denominator. The fraction bar itself is a grouping symbol and a lot of people don't know that. But if you did know that, that would really help you out in this problem when you uh, used your calculator. All right, so you have to uh, do any uh, grouping symbols first in your problem. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is E, and E stands for exponents, but uh, basically you can think of this as powers. So if you have like two to the third power, this three right here is called an exponent. The two is the base, the entire thing is powers. So if you have any of these uh, type of situations, you gotta do this next. All right, so here comes a very, very common misunderstanding about the order of operations. So we have M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So it looks like the next thing to do on our list is multiplication. So going back to our problem here, we have 10 divided by two times five. Well, if the next thing is multiplication, well, this would be right, right? So a lot of you are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're not even following your own instructions. What's going on here? Well, I'm not done. This is a, a lot, this is a very common misunderstanding about PEMDAS. A lot of people think the next thing is always M. That's not the way uh, this works. The next thing is any multiplication or division you have, and you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. So if you have division, then multiplication, you're going to do this. 
if you have multiplication then division, you're going to do that. So now when we go back to our problem, we can see that we have division first from left to right. That's why we have to do this. And then of course we'll end up uh, doing any multiplication. And then after that, we'll do any addition and subtraction that we see from left to right. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So now that we understand the order of operations or PEMDAS, all we have to do is follow this simple checklist and know a thing or two about dealing with fractions and we will get the right answer without using our calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, follow the checklist. Uh, we'll start with P. So do we have any uh, parentheses? Well, we don't have any of these parentheses. We don't have any brackets or any of these kind of squiggly brackets, but we do have a fraction bar, which is a grouping symbol. So basically what that means is that we need to kind of separate this uh, numerator as its separate problem from the denominator. And effectively what that means is just go ahead and work on each of these uh, parts of the fraction independently. And when you get these down to one numbers, then we can, or one number, excuse me, we can just simplify the fraction. So it's perfectly okay to think of a fraction problem like that. Now, of course, if you have uh, a multiplication up here and you're dealing with like factors, then you could do a lot of cross canceling. But right here, we have division. So let's go ahead and uh, start simplifying this. So four, uh, two times four, excuse me, is eight. So that's our denominator. And then here we have 12 divided by eight. So we want to write that as a fraction. 12 divided by eight means 12 divided by eight. So now we have 12 divided by eight divided by eight. So now we want to kind of write this in a better way. But right here, we have a fraction that can be simplified. So anytime you have a fraction that can be reduced or simplified, you want to do that before you continue with the problem. All right, so 12 over eight, we can write as the fraction three over two, right? Because four goes into 12 three times and four goes into eight two times. So now we have three over two divided by eight. All right, so now let's go ahead and write this in a different way. So three over two divided by eight, we can actually write it this way. So we have three over two divided by eight. That's the same thing as this right here, three over two divided by eight or eight over one. So anytime you have a number like eight and you want to express it as a fraction, just put it over one. So now you have a numerator and a denominator. So now to uh, solve this simple problem, we need to uh, talk about how to divide fractions. This is very easy. Okay, so how do we divide fractions? Well, basically, we're going to change the problem from division to multiplication. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to flip the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So here, again, we have three over two. That doesn't change, but we're gonna go from division to multiplication. And in order to do that, we have to flip the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So we have eight over one. We're gonna to go to one over eight. All right, now we need to multiply these fractions, and this is very, very easy. So how do we multiply fractions? All you have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So three times one is three, and that's gonna be over two times eight, which of course is 16. So our final answer is 3 sixteenths. Now, of course, if you had a calculator, you could take three and divide it by 16 and see the decimal equivalent. But again, when it comes to using calculators, you gotta know the math, all right? So just because you have a calculator, if you don't understand the principles of mathematics, you will get in trouble. So the only way to really kind of uh, improve in basic math like this is to practice. And don't feel bad ever about making a common error in mathematics. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. 
So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.